Season 4 of Fortnite has arrived. And introduced something I think surprised all of us. The reality biome is now dying and turning into an autumn biome. And so I decided to bring back the tutorials, and show you how to build this biome in Fortnite Creative. I know many people miss the tutorial videos, so now that they're back, comment down below any tutorials you'd like to see. Now let's get building. Now before I show you the pieces you'll need, I want to quickly cover terrain. This is not a terrain tutorial, but I will roughly explain the two ways you can make this autumn terrain. So the harder and more advanced version is to take the color picker ground tile, and change it to this yellow. This is the most accurate color I could find. But you'll notice you can't build on it. Or break it. So what I do is place shark cliff floor pieces beneath it when I build this terrain. Which fixes these issues. And because we only have color picker tiles, I like to use indestructible modular terrain to act as the cliffs. I use this piece as the main cliff and this piece to cover up holes and add more depth to the cliffs. The much more easier style is to simply use this ground terrain from the shark cliff gallery, which has many pieces that the advanced style doesn't have. And the color is pretty much the same, just without a grass texture. You're going to need these two color picker trees, this color picker grass, the reality plants you're going to use, and the giant mushrooms. Now if you're confused on how to get the new colors, let me explain. So it seems that Epic accidentally changed the colors of the original mushrooms. This means that at any point, they can be changed back to blue, which also means that these new colors might not be here forever. Make sure to keep this in mind when using them. I also forgot to mention you'll want the reality rocks and normal rocks. We're going to start off by making some of these large mushroom clumps. You'll want to take your grass color picker piece and change it to this purple. We can't get the exact purple color, but this one is close enough. Make it larger so it covers more ground. And start placing it around to make large groups of this purple grass as this is where our mushrooms grow from. I now have a few patches of grass where my mushroom clumps will be. Now place a few mushrooms over these areas. I recommend mixing between the two large mushrooms. And then shrink the smallest one down like this as that's how Fortnite does it. We then add these purple plants around the mushrooms. And I'm going to be placing these pink ones in the remaining spaces. And that's how to build the mushroom clumps. I also want to point out that the mushrooms change color depending on where they are placed. I then added my other groups of mushrooms, and added some of the reality rocks around the purple grass. So that's our mushroom areas done. Notice that I've left a lot of space for our red tree areas. Let's take a quick break from the tutorial. Thank you for watching up until this point, and thank you to my channel members. If you do want to support me, feel free to check out my channel's membership, or consider using code NOVAJ in the item shop. Let's get back to building. Place down two large color picker trees, and two small color picker trees. Make one of the large trees this color, and the other large tree this color. If this color looks too saturated for you, you can change it to this color. Then make your smaller trees the same colors you chose for your large trees. I recommend you get pictures of the actual biome to see how Fortnite places their trees, but simply keep swapping between the colored trees you place. This mixing of the different red colors is exactly how the biome looks in game. Place a few large trees, then make it more dense with smaller trees. It should look similar to this, but you can also have yours be more forest-like, or more open. The choice is yours. I then added some purple grass around some of my trees. and added this green plant in my tree areas just like Fortnite does. I added more rocks and plants to fill up emptier spaces. And there we have the brand new autumn biome, in creative mode. I hope this tutorial does help some of you to recreate this biome, and make sure to comment what tutorials I should do next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.